Weather Authority meteorologist Janice Hare is here and we're talking about something that happens every year, but it is impactful and talking about the Saharan dust that makes its way across the Middle Passage, comes through those east winds and it's making its way to southeast Georgia and northeast Florida. Now, if you looked in the sky and noticed that it was a little hazy at times, kind of a white hazy color in the sky, that's a very low grade trace, but a trace of the Saharan dust. And unfortunately this week it's going to increase. It's going to intensify. So I want to show you a couple of time frames as we go through the week of what you can anticipate. First, I just want to back up for a second and show you. Overall, we're looking at the tropical weather outlook. It actually can impact the development of storms. You see all of the darker color that's a little bit closer to the Caribbean and further south, southeast. Well, it's slowly going to make its way to our area. So as you can see, there's light, moderate, and dense. Dense is that darker brown. The light is more of a sandier color. And right now, southeast Georgia and northeast Florida has more of a sandy color. But take a look as we move through the days. Look how much darker the dust will become. It will become much more highly concentrated. So I want to run through that again just so you can get a chance to take a look at it. First, you see the area of the tropics and take a look. You can see how originally on Tuesday, it's a much sandier color. It'll be hazy. We'll have some beautiful sunsets indeed. So when you look into the sky and you have that more of an orange color to the sunset, a part of the impact is because of the haziness from the sand in the sky. But let's take a look again at the future lapse, if you will, of what to anticipate. So this is Tuesday evening. Take a look at Wednesday. Look how that sand is coming up from the south, having an impact in the areas of southeast Georgia and northeast Florida. And it'll stay this way with most of the increase between Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So aside from it being visually beautiful for some when it comes to the sunset, what are some of the other implications? Well, from the tropical perspective of storms developing, this can actually help decrease the development of storms. Aside from that, it's going to dry out the atmosphere more and it could affect you if you have respiratory issues or asthma. So keep this in mind. You may want to contact your physician just to say, hey, what should I do as the Saharan dust gets closer and intensifies in our area and they will have some tips for you. But keep in mind, the Saharan dust will increase this week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and it will be impactful not only for the environment, but it could potentially also impact your health.